You know, you should probably start by making yourself a quick jig, cut your wine corks in half with. Then go grab a couple handfuls of those corks your wife's been saving, cut them all in half. Now take your corks and line them up on whatever surface you want to use them for. I don't know, you can use a tabletop, a bench top, a wine rack, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever surface you're going to use. On this one, I'm going to use my monitor stand I made in my last video. You're going to line them up, figure out where you want them, figure out the pattern you want, and then uh, make take some measurements, draw around them, figure out what your outside edges are. Set up your router slide, block up your work piece like I showed you in my last video. Set your plunge router at the height of the corks, plus about an eighth of an inch or so. Start in the middle of the project and just hollow out a little bit so you can check your height. You're going to want to put a couple corks in the center of your project to check your height before you get too far along. It's a good idea to use a T-square and make sure you got at least an eighth of an inch above. If you're happy with the way it looks, finish routing out the middle or make the adjustment in depth as needed. Once you've routed out the entire middle, use a chisel to square out those edges so the wine corks fit well. Now you're going to want to stain your project. Once that's had a chance to dry, just go ahead and use some ordinary wood glue, glue your corks into place. At this point, your project should look a little something like this. Now mix up your epoxy. Pour on your first coat, level it up the best that you can. as many as you can but probably not going to get them all. Now let it sit 24 hours you come back there may be some bubbles on the top just sand those down. Be careful not to sand all the way down to your corks. Now when you're sanding you may think you ruined the piece but don't worry a skim coat on the top is going to bring it back to life. You just wait and see. Pour your final skim coat on top, level it off, and give it 24 hours to dry. And there you go, clear as glass. Your epoxy is dry, you never even know you have sanded it down. <laughs>